Okay, we've been tracking our whale using the hydrophone and getting some really, really loud clicks coming from this area that we're over right now, but it's gone silent. And usually a few minutes before they surface, that's exactly what happens. They stop clicking because they're not hunting anymore. So we're just waiting. Any second now, it could break the surface. Very, very exciting. There he is, over there, just over there, do you see him? You got him? He's about 200 metres in front of us. Okay, this is as close as we can come in the main boat. We have to keep our distance, but I can get closer in the kayak. Okay, I'm going to approach very cautiously. The last thing I want to do is spook him. After all, he's at the surface to recuperate. This is his rest time in between hunts. He'll spend eight to 10 minutes at the surface after a dive, taking in as much air as he can, oxygenating his blood, then storing the oxygen in his muscles before he heads back to the deep. I need to keep clear of those mighty tail flukes. One swipe could swap me and my kayak like a mosquito. But up close, able to smell his breath and see the sheen on his skin, it's one of the most humbling moments imaginable. This is one of nature's giants. See, when you're up close, the massive S-shaped blowhole on the head, which it's using to drive out all of the spent air from its lungs. Wow, the tail flukes are absolutely gigantic. They're almost as broad across as my kayak. And up they go, totally dwarfing me.